It's time! It's time! It's Vader time! Vader, Target exclusive Elite Legends Series 10! Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel and today we've got a special one. We've got Vader from the WWE Elite Mattel Target Exclusive Legends Series 10 line. Boy, that's a mouthful. I even got my best Vader shirt on. Uh, a figure so nice I had to buy it twice. So I got two. Uh, as some people know, there's really four options of this one, and there's going to be a lot of collectors buying four or five of these Vader figures. Uh, one to keep in the box, of course, and then the four different looks you can mix and match and design. Truly a good figure and a great way to do it. Kudos to Mattel. That's very smart marketing, making people buy a few of these. Uh, for those that don't know, these are shipping right now uh, via Target Online. That's where I got mine from. But they're also available uh, in the stores as well, as you can imagine. John Cena being the other one. Brutus Beefcake and DDP from the line will be in stores later this summer. But uh, we'll be shipping online only as of right now. That's kind of the word that's going around. So setting the table a little bit there. But man, I'm excited for this Vader, as you can imagine. You guys know I love big figures. There's Vader, mass figures. There's Vader. Love me some Vader ever since I was a kid. I'll never forget, I was about 9, 10 years old when he made his debut in WCW in this iconic outfit. First images I ever saw of Vader as a kid was him coming out in the Mastodon helmet. Next level, blew little Kyle's mind, blows Kyle's mind all these years later. I loved Vader, one of my all-time favorite wrestlers. WWF run, WWE run was a little rough, a little suspect, not quite the guy. Uh, I later knew from Japan videos, tape trading. Uh, all Japan Wrestling is a favorite of mine, a guilty pleasure. And Vader and Hanson and Vader and uh, Musawa, all that kind of stuff back in the day. Plus his WCW run. Man, chalk this up to being one of the top 10 figures of the year. I'm going to call it right now. Uh, but we won't know until we unbox it. But we're going to do it like we normally do on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging, talk about it, unbox it, talk about it, and see where it goes from there. So let's do it. Let's look at this Vader packaging here. Love this packaging. Throwback to the old school Legends packaging. We're no stranger to this now. We've seen it for a while. It's a Target exclusive, as we all know. Got that WWE Legends logo right here. Vader's name. The little uh, yellow burst right there. Vader with all kinds of accessories. Extra hands. Extra head. Extra mask. The huge Mastodon mask. Then the figure in his iconic. To me, his most iconic outfit. I will never forget him coming down the ramp. And then taking the mask off, all the steam coming out of it. Uh, and when I first saw him as a kid, when he came out with that helmet on, I remember, is he going to wrestle in this thing? There, there's no way he can wrestle with that on his head. But, you know, as a 10, 9, 10-year-old kid, you don't know any different. This is pre-internet. This is pre-those days. Uh, he had no idea what was going on. Uh, I believe he was right out of his New Japan run at the time, maybe. Um, I know he crossed between all of them. And uh, he beat Inoki, I believe, if I remember correctly, as well. Uh, one of the few people to really do that out there. So I don't need to tell you guys about Vader's story career, that's for sure. But Series 10 up there at the top, you got the Elite logo, all that fun stuff there. Look at that picture of Vader on the side when he was wearing his mask. How cool is that? Elite logo down there. Same picture on the other side, of course. And then you get to the back. We got a blurb. You guys know I love a blurb. You know I love to see who else is in a set. Mattel, kudos to you. Giving me what I want on the back of a package. You got the glamour shot of Vader. That's what I want. I wish all the Star Wars Black series, Marvel Legends of the World, everybody would follow this kind of pattern. Uh, make your own spin to it, whatever it could be. But promote your line. Give us a blurb why we should care. Give us a nice promo shot. There you go. Perfect. Uh, kudos, Mattel. So there it is right there in the back. Of course, the warning's on the bottom. Let me read the back here. Let's see what it says about our boy Vader here. Titles, WCW World Heavyweight Champion and WCW United States Champion. As we always talk about these, classic superstars videos the most. I can't remember his United States title run for some reason. I don't know. I'm sure if uh, somebody says it in the comments, which I'm sure somebody will, I'll say, oh, yeah, that's right. I remember that. All right, a lot to talk about with Vader here. Memorable moment. The man they call Vader raised the bar for athletic big men. Very true. Ever since his debut at the Great American Bash 1990. So yeah, I'd be right about 9 turning 10 years old when that happened in 1990. It was apparent to everyone that Big Van Vader was a special kind of performer. Vicious, physically intimidating, powerful, agile, and aggressive. 
Vader brutalized his opponents inside the ring. It wasn't long before he destroyed Sting for the first of his three WCW World Championships and literally tore apart Cactus Jack in some of the most violent clashes seen inside of the ring. His success in WCW catapulted him into the WWE main event scene. And that's true. We all know uh, Vader's career really took a dive when he went to WWE. It was very disappointing how he was kind of booked over there. But man, his fights with Cactus Jack and WCW, just all the WCW stuff, but especially All Japan, that hard-hitting style, uh, you know, his Japan time, and New Japan too, I guess, but I think I'm more familiar with the All Japan days. Uh, love Vader, like I've said many a time. So I'm very happy to get this moment in time figure. Definitely going to be my favorite Vader figure. Looking at the packaging on this one, I didn't see any paint application issues. I see a little red dot to the side. We'll see how bad that is. Uh, but for the most part, we're looking pretty solid in the pack. So let's do it. Let's unbox it here. I'm still on the fence how many of these Vaders I need myself. Um, there it is. You got that Legends logo in the back. We're used to seeing that by now. There it goes. See you later. All right, plastic prison shot. Like I was saying, I definitely need a couple. I got two right now. Uh, I don't know if I need three to open and one in the card. Uh, I think my dad needs one of these too, so I'll have to be on the hunt for my dad. This is this is his wheelhouse too. He'd love a Vader in his collection. Going next to his Warlord and Goldberg figures and his Warriors. Gotta have Vader. Plastic prison shot. There it is. How cool is this? I mean, there's so much to like about this one. They really went all out. We could almost call this the ultimate Vader figure. This is almost Ultimate Edition-esque. Extra heads, extra hands, extra mass. A lot going on here. Uh, let's pop it all out here. And the beauty is you got extra hands. Normally I'm not a huge extra hands guy, but he's got his little V action going on his hand, so I love that. If you have multiple ones loose, you can display it with different hands, different masks. You can truly make different figures, and I like that a lot. We are buckled in. Do I have scissors? Here we go. We're buckled in on his helmet, which is smart. It's a big helmet. You don't want that thing falling out. There it goes. Unbuckled. Vader's head. There it is. See you later. Up high. All right. Let's look at these accessories first. Yeah, we got a little red going on. All right. First off, we got his Mastodon helmet. Absolutely awesome. We've seen this before. Hey, we've seen it on my shirt. I even got it on my Vader shirt. I've, I've specially coordinated this video. Uh, but all black, jet black. Here is the one we've had in the past. I got uh, that next to us. The exact same thing as it should be. No surprises there. Uh, this one looks almost a little smoky color. I don't know if it's just because of the age and the black's kind of wearing off a little bit. But definitely like the one we got in the past. So I'll put that one to the side. I'll put that right over there. Extra hands. You got two open hands like he's going to hold something. It's fine. Is what it is. Hands. All right. What do we got here now? We got the... The jockstrap mask Vader was known for. I remember seeing him wearing this at first, saying, why is he wearing that? It barely really hides who he is. And most mask wrestlers, you know, they covered their face. Maybe you saw their mouth and nose and maybe their eyes, and that's it. But Vader, he marched to the beat of his own drum. He said, you know, I don't really need to hide myself. I'm just going to put this over my face. Uh, interesting, but hey, it worked. Uh, no doubting Vader's career there. Love this extra head here. This reminds me back when he was the baby bull in AWA. This is what this kind of reminds me of. But very cool. He's got the uh, Road Warrior-esque haircut, we'll call it. Because I, I definitely the Road Warriors had it before Vader. But a cool head. Uh, so you can put it with just this head on. You can put this mask on that head. And then you can put this over it. There's so many ways. It truly is choose your own adventure. Like the old library books we used to get in the school days. Back, back in the olden times. All right, I'm so I'm soaking this Vader in right now. We've got a little glue. I have not seen that before. Right on his chest, there's a little dab of glue. I don't know if I can rub that out or not. And then we do got some paint splatter uh, on the side of his chest. We got a little red. We got a little bit of black on his shoulder as well. I'm, I'm hoping I can clean that up a little bit. Um, sometimes you can get a uh, magic eraser and you can clean that off. Uh, it'll pop right off. I don't know. Then you have the mast head on Vader. Most people don't remember Vader wearing this mask. Uh, he did right at the beginning. Uh, well, the first time I saw Vader in my life, he had this mask on. And it's just interesting. He slowly moved to this. And I don't know if there was ever a reason, if it was just comfort, discomfort. I, I don't know. But uh, very, very cool to get this mast head. Is I think if they were going to skip one of these, this would have been the head to skip. And thankfully, they put this in here to really complete the character. Truly making it an Ultimate Edition like we talked about. I love the V hands. The V hands really make this one. We know Vader. He always was flashing those V hands all the time. So very cool to get that. 
It makes me wonder, will we get any more Vaders down the line? His ab crunch is a little loose, a little looser than I would like it to be. Not terrible where it's wobbling like a kind of froggy, but it is a little bit loose. I'm sure your mileage may vary on that. Not everybody will have that. Uh, I did got a ringside collectible stand. I say it all the time. Spend your money on your figures, not your stands. Ringsidecollectibles.com. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Of course he fits on that stand. He's got to. He's got to fit on there, and he does. I did bring along uh, some of the other Vaders we've had over the years. How about that, huh? How does he compare? A lot of reuse, it looks like, with the heads especially. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. No? I mean, the paint-wise, yeah, different head. The paint-wise, he's got the more of the orange. The orange classic Vader, or this is more of the light orange. A, a lot like the Baby Bull Vader is what this kind of reminds me of. Uh, a little bit but you definitely need all three vaders but i love that they gave us the different looks you can now use this one as kind of your w or your wwe wwf vader uh, this one is perfect for that or later day wcw if you want to pretend that and then you got another incarnation of wcw with the cape and all that uh, but truly this is the vader this when i think vader and i think most people when they think vader maybe they think this outfit and this look for vader i always go back to this because it made such an impression on 10 year old kyle uh, nine, ten year old Kyle, whatever it was, uh, it was truly a game changer. Coming out here, just imagine him coming out, and you got smoke from the ramp, and then you see this guy walking out. You're like, what the heck is this? Then he places this in front of him, does his little spiel behind it, and then all of a sudden, smoke shoots out of that helmet. You don't know what the heck's going on as a little kid. Uh, truly a golden age in wrestling, something I don't know if it'll ever be captured again, uh, because there was no internet to find out about these guys and what was really going on. And when these new guys were coming in, they were all new to you, and that was a lot of the excitement. And this figure brings back that excitement, and that's what we want out of our toys and our figures. At least that's what I want. I want something that brings me back to my childhood, brings me back to happier times in wrestling when, you know, I'm still into wrestling, but back then, 10 year old Kyle, I mean, he lived and breathed wrestling. And this brings me back to being on the couch at my grandma's, seeing him for the first time ever. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. And that's what I like about this figure. It brings me back to that past and those great memories. So I'm sure some of you guys got some of those memories out there as well. But a very solid Vader. Obviously the articulation, I'm not going to go through all that stuff. We've done it a million times on the channel. Uh, we all know the articulation. But no double jointed elbows or knees on this one. Uh, it's just a, a plain elite figure that we've had in the past. And, and some reuse out there. There's, there's always reuse with the elites. This one, I was going to say he's a little bit bigger. But I guess this is the same body. Same body mold as the old Vader. Same everything. Yeah. Very cool. But I'm happy for people because I know a lot of people missed out on these or passed on them or are new collectors that don't want to pay the more expensive price point. Now they got a chance to get this Vader. Uh, I like it a lot. I wonder if we'll get this Vader down the line again as kind of a repaint, re-release, uh, as I think a lot of people would like to get this one as well. Maybe with a soft goods singlet. Maybe they'll try the uh, Jack's Classic Superstars plan down the line. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But there's Vader, the man called Vader. I'm very excited to get him in my collection. I have to think he'll be a top 10 figure this year for me in the Mattel line. But we'll see. We'll see at the end of the year. But very, very solid. Highly recommend this one. I probably don't need to tell most of you guys watching this. You're probably already pre-ordered or probably on the hunt for this as we speak. And rightfully so. It's a great figure. Just remember, it's a Target exclusive. If you want it, you got to check your targets out. Um, so you guys tell me in the comments. You picking this one up? You passing on this one? Give me your magical Vader thoughts. Let me know the first time you remember seeing Vader. Was it like me when you were 10 years old? Uh, is, are you a viewer from Japan and saw him in Japan for the first time? And that's where you knew him from. Or maybe you're even older school guy than me and you remember him back in the AWA when he was just breaking in. Or maybe you're a big Rams fan and you remember him in the NFL on the Rams. But le leave me your comment. Tell me about this. Are you picking this up? All that fun stuff. Don't forget to like the video. You've made it this far. Hit the old like. And then while you're there... Hit the old subscribe button. Turn those notification bells on. As you guys know, we're unboxing every WWE Elite figure. Uh, Jazz wears AEW, Marvel Legends, Star Wars. Too much to really mention, really, at this point. But we're unboxing it all on the channel. There's all kinds of action figures going on on the channel every day. So you want to be subscribed so you don't miss a beat. So there it is. Big Van Vader. The whole Vader army. So yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you real soon. All right, it's time to put Vader in the collection. We're going to stick him in right up front the old WCW shelf for now. Looks good.